Baseball, America's pastime. You know, when I look at a baseball, I think of summer, and I think of America. And this past week was a special week in baseball because it's All-Star Week. And the first All-Star game was actually played in 1933 in Chicago. It was a part of the World's Fair. And at the time, it was thought, just boost morale during the Great Depression. But it was a great game, everybody loved it, and the American League won four to two. Fast forward to the 87th edition of the All-Star Game that was this past week in San Diego, and once again, the American League won four to two. Here at the YBN, we were honored to be a part of All-Star Festivities live in San Diego. Our correspondent, Tommy D, was on the red carpet at the Players' Party, where he had the chance to catch up with two San Diego legends, Hall of Famer Dave Winfield and all-time National League saves leader, Trevor Hoffman. Thanks, Scott. I'm about to walk into one of the hottest parties in town. There's going to be so many great ballers here tonight, and I can't wait to meet them. Let's go check it out. Who was your favorite baseball player as a kid? Oh, well, I had a couple. I guess I have to pick one, but uh, we'll keep it in-house. My older brother, Glenn, uh, when I was about seven years old, left the house in high school to go play pro ball in Elmira, New York. Uh, made it to the big leagues in four years with the Boston Red Sox, and he was a guy I looked up to because he was a great role model and also someone that was pretty good in the field. I like the Minnesota Twins. I like people like Harmon Killebrew, the shortstop, Zoilo Versailles. There was, there was Tony Oliva and, and even Rod Carew. If you didn't play baseball, what do you think you would be doing? I think I'd be a school teacher. You know, when I was young, when your age, I thought that I wanted to be a politician. I wanted to be the mayor of St. Paul or Minneapolis. What is the secret to your changeup? <laughs> I just got a good smile out of you, didn't I? <laughs> Um, the secret of my changeup is to throw it just like a fastball because I think sometimes it can deceive the hitter that they think a fastball is coming but the grip slows it down. And that's not all. Tommy had the chance to catch up with numerous great names in Major League Baseball. Who was your favorite baseball player as a kid? Well, I, I grew up in Southern California so I had the, the, lug, the, the, the thrill of watching Roberto Clemente as a, as a young player growing up. and. Um, I loved him because of his style. He's a very hard player to emulate because of his style, but I love the energy and stuff that he brought, so um, that was my favorite. Who was your favorite baseball player as a kid? As a kid, Hank Aaron. Rod Carew. Do I have any boogies? No, you're fine. Thank you. Growing up here in San Diego, it was Dave Winfield, uh, Randy Jones, guys like that, but you know, I idolized Rod Carew. Oh, I grew up, you know, a big Met and Yankee fan. Uh, I used to am you know, watch Mattingly and, and Willie Randolph and Ricky Henderson, and then you go over to the Mets, you know, Wayne Garrett, you know, Tom Seaver, Matt Lack, all those great guys. If you weren't playing baseball, what would you be doing? <laughs> Is this a trick question? It is not. <laughs> I don't know. My mom wanted me to, to get into the medical field. I'll probably be playing football. That was my best sport. And, you know, I went to uh, a recruiting trip to my University of Miami and I saw how hard those guys was hitting, and I said, I'm gonna choose baseball. <laughs> I would love to play basketball, but I think I might have been more in uh, philanthropic business, you know, being able to do uh, trips and helping people. I did a lot of that. I have a passion for baseball, but, you know, maybe teaching. I'd probably be a teacher. Um, my background was um, in education. What a great job by Tommy on the red carpet, and that's not all. Sharon Robinson, the daughter of the late great Jackie Robinson, was in attendance, and we all know how important he was, not just for the game of baseball, but for the history of our country. Well, Sharon wanted to share something that she felt you ballers would like to know about her father. Every Christmas he would uh, go shopping for himself at a wholesale market and then come home and lay out all his golf um, slacks for the year and all of his golf shirts, and then he'd tell us, come and bring, into, bring us into his room one by one, and we would select which one of the things we wanted to give him for Christmas. Then Christmas morning, he'd open them up, and he'd go, oh, just what I wanted. How did you know? <laughs> Speaking of Hall of Famers, we head out to Cooperstown. Our first submitted video comes from the All-Star Tournament featuring 12-year-old Jack Fluman of the Santa Clarita Dirtbags with a game-ending catch. Okay, it. Okay, In! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Jack with the web gem to secure the victory as the Dirtbags finished 10th out of 48 teams in the Cooperstown Tournament. Way to go, guys. Now at the Home Run Derby this week in San Diego, Miami Marlins slugger Giancarlo Stanton put on an absolute show. 
Well, check out these young ballers putting on a home run display of their own. Nice hit. Riley! Got it. Go, Zach! Nice! Stanton might have hit 61 bombs at Petco Park, but seven-year-old Zachary Kraft on the Franklin Lakes Baseball League with his first home run, something that he'll always remember. And how about 12-year-old Ali Steele of the Thousand Oaks All-Stars? This kid looks like a slugger, an all-star. Maybe he'll be in the home run derby soon. For our final video, we check out 21-year-old PJ DiFilippo, Sacred Heart University, with an unbelievable diving grab. Now here at the YBN, we love to celebrate ballers of any age. And one of the actors from the television show Ballers with Dwayne The Rock Johnson is Omar Miller, and he was live with our Tommy D on the red carpet. So what is your biggest fear? You batting less than 200. What were your stats this year? I don't know my stats this okay, year. Okay, I like that. That's good work. But what was the win-loss record? Pretty good, five and two. Oh, that's, that's all, you're on your way to a $300 million deal. I like where this is going. I hope so. Uh, my greatest fear is going to have to be quitting, quitting and failing, because they go hand in hand. If you weren't an actor, what would you be? A baseball player. Did you have a favorite baseball player growing up as a kid? Yes, Ricky Henderson was my favorite baseball player growing up, followed very, very closely by King Griffey Jr. All right, thank you so much. I had an amazing time at the party, uh, talking to all the great ballers here. They're the best in the world at what they do, and it's amazing talking to them. Unfortunately, I can't go inside, it's past my bedtime, but I had an amazing time here. Back to you, Scott. Hope you guys enjoyed this all-star edition of the Youth Baller Network. We had such a great time out in San Diego participating in Major League Baseball's All-Star Week festivities. And don't forget, keep submitting those videos at youthballernetwork.com or just simply tag us on social media. We love handing out these YBN shirts and especially making contributions to your leagues. And tune into our next show. We're heading out to the orange carpet of the Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Sports Awards where we're going to catch up with some amazing ballers.